version of the truth market we are bringing a fresh episode to you today and i believe you have been enjoying yourself lately and if you are a part of this truth market congratulations to you because i like to let you know that your life can never remain the same i remain divine susie and i'd like you to stay tuned because we are bringing something very interesting your way today and i know you would not be left out Ah, here with us is the servant du ifada chop so you're highly welcome. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. And I also want to welcome to the show, Brother Chi Edozie. Welcome, sir. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Without wasting uh, much of our time, uh, there are issues we really want to highlight. And we'll be trusting the Lord for divine insight through his servant, Dio Fanacho, to drive home the point as we get an understanding about what is trending today especially in the Christian dome. We have come to discover over time that a lot of people, men of God, women of God, they go into ministry, yes. They, many of them started well. They went in with good intention, yes, with a mind to serve God, to do the work of God and all of that. But along the line, we discover that these persons begin to deviate. We begin to question their credibility. We begin to wonder, yeah, are they truly from God? The power they are using, what is the source and all of that. So this kept us, you know, in dilemma. And we really want to clear our minds today to really know the reason why many men of God, many women of God, is that very well, but along the line, it will become questionable. So, sir, can you really help us through light here? Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Mm. Yeah, I am so much interested in uh, throwing more lights in it and uh, the question you are bringing is so interesting as well. Um, the, the thing we really need to understand about the things of the Spirit is that uh, we say this someday in one of our teachings that uh, righteousness is not a constant. Mm -hmm. mm, righteousness is not a constant in the sense that you can be righteous today mm. if you don't maintain it. Mm it will disappear. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So people do not understand these truths. Yeah. That righteousness is not a constant. There are certain times in a man's life when he humble himself to seek, to find, and to, to knock, and the door shall be opened to him at that time, then invariably, that time he humbled himself, mm. you know, then, the, the presence of God will come. When the presence of God comes, mm. now he forgilt his source or her source okay. and begin now to live according to his own will. Then that righteousness will disappear. Okay. So it's like a frequency that when you position your thoughts, your mind mm. and your action, God is respecter of no person. Exactly. So you just come in, like a radio frequency. Yes. If you tune on a radio, the signal will come. If you get the right station, the signal will come. That's true. Then if you off that mm. radio, or check it, take it to another channel, mm. without getting the exact frequency, you begin to hear noise. Yes. Are you there? Exactly. Now, in the physical science, it is noticeable. Yeah. But in spiritual science, you don't notice it mm. when the frequency is already gone. Okay. So that's what Jesus was talking about in the book of Matthew 7, 21. Mm. There are many people who say, I heal people, I deliver people, I solve problems in your name. But I will tell him, you are the worker of iniquity. You being a worker of iniquity means that the presence of God had left you. So, so many people started well but didn't end well. And that is what we said, that the greatest power on earth is the power to control power. Okay. That is to say, when you understand that you have this power, but because you have the power, it does not make you to abuse it, yes. to use it to satisfy your own selfish end and your quest. Okay. Then you now know that you are a powerful person. I taught it in business class. Mm -hmm. That when you know that somebody has really gotten money, mm. 
is when unnecessary expenses come yes. and millions is in account but, and he failed to spend that money because he has the power to understand that this thing which the demand mm. that wants to take this money is unnecessary. Okay. Are you listening to yes, me? Nice. So that is how it is. People are called. When they start, they start with humility, mm -hmm. with concentration, yes. with dedication, with reservation, you know, mm. with submissiveness. But when the power comes, they will now try to help God to be God. Wow. They will try to package God. So in this light, now we now, it is good, we discuss the types of callings. Okay. I understand. So that everybody will know where he or she is getting it wrong. Mm, powerful. You understand? Yes. Yeah. Where he or she is getting it wrong. Then these people who don't have this grace and understanding of waiting mm. patiently upon the Lord, mm at all time, okay. try to hear, to help God to hear. Mm -hmm. Are you there? Yes, yes. They try to help God to hear. They package God. Mm -hmm. And God is no more, no less. You can't add from God to God. You can't subtract from God. Yes. God is zero, symbolically, in the physical world. Mm -hmm. In the spiritual world, this, mm -hmm. the spiritual symbol of God is zero. Mm -hmm. And the, the physical symbol of God is one. Mm -hmm which is unity. Mm. Are you listening to me? So now, when you now get that power mm. of God, you attain that omnipresence, omniscience, and omnipotent nature of God. Mm -hmm. mm? Yes. Then, when you want now to package God, that is to say, you are either multiplying God with one. Okay. Then two multiplied by five is what? By zero is what? Zero. Okay, two multiplied by Five is what? Ten. 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 That is the physical aspect of God. Okay. You can be increasing, but you can't use five to multiply zero. Mm -hmm. So at that point, people are trying to add to God mm -hmm. or to multiply to God. Mm -hmm. They begin to get it's neutralized. Okay. Five multiplied by zero, zero. is zero. Hundred multiplied by this by zero is what? Zero. zero then that presence of God will disappear because they are trying to help God to be God. So let us go quickly and discuss mm. the type of calling. Mm. We have four basic type of calling okay. and two basic type of anointing. Okay. Okay. Now, the first basic, first uh, call mm. is there are people who are called by God. Okay. Call by call. That is what we call it. Call by call. Call by God or call by call. Call by God okay. or call by call. call. Okay. The call of God. Okay. Then call by God. The second one is called by inspiration. Okay. The third is called by frustration. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is and, amazing. Yes, and the fourth is called by frustration. That's thought called by frustration. Uh, for frustration, I thought thought mm. is called by inspiration. Okay. I mean, called by inheritance. Okay, okay. okay. Yes. yes, the fourth one, one, called by mm -hmm. inheritance. Okay. Now, those that are called by God are these people who started well. Okay. God Almighty gave them revelation. Mm -hmm. But there is what they are missing there when God calls you. Mm -hmm. There is difference between being called and being chosen. Yeah. You get the point? Yeah. Under call by God. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. there is difference between being called and being chosen. Wow. So yeah. when God calls you, it can come as a vision. Okay. It can come as a revelation. It can come as an insight. But most importantly, as a vision. Mm -hmm. You see yourself healing people, delivering people, or God speak to you and say, I want you to come and serve me. Mm -hmm. Now you are called by God. Mm -hmm. Now, you have to go into school of God. That is that whole essence of God. Before you begin to manifest physically. Mm -hmm. Then there will be a waiting period of time. 
where you have to get the PVC mm. of heaven, yes. the approval, yeah. citizenship of heaven, never come to manifest mm. as a man of God mm. unless you finish reconciling with heavens. Wow. They have to send you to go before going. Wait, so that is to say he has called you, okay, come. Yes. That he called you does not mean he has sent, he you. Has sent you. If he called you, just like getting admission into university okay. or call up later. Okay. You understand? Mm. When you get admission, mm. you now you are a part of the institution. Okay. God called you, giving you admission yes. into his school. Then you have to go into okay. Solacy. Okay into hibernation, wow. into quietude, hmm. then you go into isolation and stay That's alone. Lectures. Then you begin to interact with nature. Hmm. Interact with that person. He teaches you the language hmm. of nature. Hmm. How things exist, how things operate, hmm. how this relates to this, you know. Hmm. So at the end of the day, hmm. When God now found out, based on the relationship and your interaction, because mm -hmm. we say God is experience, okay. lives in silence mm -hmm. and beauty in nature. Okay. God is experience, mm -hmm. beauty in nature, and, and lives in silence. silence. Wow. So, so at that point, you have to disassociate yourself with anything that has to do with the worldly things or physical things. Then, when you disassociate yourself, this period of waiting to be chosen mm. can last for 12 years mm. before you finish the school of God. Mm. Are you listening to me? Yes. Now, why is it so cheap that way? Which people don't even know. Because Jesus has cut down okay. the, price. the price. That journey you would have he would have taken you 30 years mm. as it took Jesus 29 years wow. under that hibernation, solacy, you know, yes, training upon training upon training upon training before you could be called by God Almighty. Jesus, in the book of Luke, when he did 40 days and 40 nights, he capped it up and the heaven opened in the dead of baptism mm. and say, this is my beloved son mm. in whom I am well pleased. That was this, the science or the secret or the mystery behind what God told John the Baptist. Okay. Any person you saw a dove perch on him and stay, that a dove perch on you, a dove mean. might think you are a tree. <laughs> Perch on you and find out you are a human being instead of you. <laughs> so that dove is an anointing. Yeah. When he perch on you, watch a person the dove will stay upon. Concentration. A concentration. So it's not a dove perching on you. It can perch on anybody. <laughs> I quickly realized that this thing. But perching and staying mm. means when the anointing comes, it will be able to stay. Then know that this is the Savior. This is the a man of God. So Jesus has cut it short. If not, it will take anyone mm. who really wants to be a man of God to the capacity of leading people. It will take you no less than 40 years. Mm. Then, as it happened to Moses. Yes, as it happened to Moses. Then you come into this powerful realization mm. and interaction with nature and the spirit. Then you can now come out and tell people, yes, I am a man of God. I am General Obasia. But today, mm. these people are being called by God. Okay. But they don't wait to be chosen by God. So at that point, you take off. Mm? Yes, the bullet you have in your hand, which is that anointing, mm. will soon get exhausted. Wow. And when it gets exhausted, demand will be more than supply. Mm. And when demand becomes more than supply, and you don't see any other thing to feed in the demand upon you, the next thing is that you begin to tell lies. Hmm. You begin to fake everything. You begin to source for power. You begin power. to source for power from anything, oh. everything, because demand now is more than supply. Wow. That is what we call about, uh, well, there is something we say, uh, 25 
seven, over 75 physio spiritual phenomena. The, this means that whatever you give to the public as a man of God, not as a secret, mm -hmm. but whatever you give to people, you are now hiding it, but within the framework of time and space, whatever you give to the public must be 25% of your words. The 75 should still be ready, 247, waiting for more demand. So as you are giving out 25% of your words, people are still coming. You are bringing out again from that 25. That seven, the, from that 75. Mm -hmm. That 75 is that zero essence of God. Okay. So you are connected to nature. Meaning to say you shouldn't allow yourself to get exhausted. You, sh you, you can't even get exhausted. Shouldn't allow means that you are, you are, you are, you are saving it. Mm. No. <laughs> Immediately you get connected to God okay. and get that PVC yeah. or, and the citizenship of heaven. Mm. Whatever you need will always be supplied. Okay, it becomes inexhaustible. Yes, yeah. inexhaustible. But what people do is improper fraction. Okay. okay. They bring out 75 and have 25 with God, okay, invisible. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yes, I got Are you it. listening to me? Yes. Now, when demand comes that this is a great man of God, mm. bam, people will begin to troop in, begin to troop in. That's 75 out of impatience, out of pride, out of arrogance, they will now get it exhausted. Mm. People trooped. Imagine bringing out 75. Okay. People now troop in. When people troop in to receive more, you find out that you have only 25 left with you. Now you struggle and bring out 25 and give to them. Mm. Then you become empty. empty. Wow. <laughs> no more ministry is over. Yes, ministry is over. Then you begin to live on past glory. Oh my goodness. You begin to live on past glory. But if you wait patiently, God will train you. After training you and he call you, this is it. So power, as we said it, is different from authority. Mm -hmm. Authority means that you are the author of what you are doing. Okay. You are now one with God, mm -hmm. and God is one with you. So as God cannot get exhausted, so you cannot get Exhaust. exhausted. Dying and mine and mine and dying. John chapter 14, verse 10. Dying and mine and mine and dying. So you have to wait to a point you become one with God. When you become one with God and inseparable, then you can now come to the world and begin to relate. So this is call by God or call by call, the call of God. Then you now wait to be chosen. chosen. Then after the training, you now wait to know whether God is now saying now you can go. Mm -mm. Immediately the training, just like the Jesus I was telling you, okay. say this is my beloved son. After 30 years, 29 years, okay. he baptized mm. and he was commissioned. Okay. He now said, he's not commissioned. Anymore. Yes, mm. he was he's commissioned. Now you are, good to go. you are good to go. Then he, he took off the ministry. Okay. But today, how many men of God, so many of them are called, but they didn't want to be chosen. That is the reason why a space was reserved to humanity. Mm. In the book of a Hebrew, Chapter 12, verse 22. The church of the firstborn is going to come. The heavenly Jerusalem, yeah. whose name is written in heaven, mm -hmm. where the just men will be made perfect. Exactly. Those that were called, but didn't want to be chosen, if they can humble themselves, mm -hmm. they will now be corrected okay. and be made perfect. 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 Remember, in the book of Luke chapter 10, okay. Jesus sent the disciples 70, 70, everybody should go and preach and evangelize. And they came back and was telling Jesus, wow, this your name is working miracle. <laughs> Are you there? Yes. Now Jesus told them, no, 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 no. Don't rejoice because devil is subject to you. Yeah. But rejoice because your name is written in the Lamb Book of Life. Hmm. Rejoice because heaven have accepted you. Okay, that That's approval. That's yes, that approval. Are you there? Yes. So that time a man of God is humble, uh, fasting or whatever, and their power comes. He lay hand on this person, he manifests, he may lay hand on this person, this person got healed, this. No, he didn't know that this is testing, testing. Okay. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean that you have arrived. <laughs> okay. It doesn't mean that you have been called. Wow. 
to be choosing rather. Then you begin to manifest, manifest, manifest. Then before you know, that manifestation and healing and deliverance will take up his time. He loses his relationship with God. Pride will come, arrogance will come, loss for money will come, to study more, to add more will come. Then the power will begin now to he's begin to struggle on how to maintain it. I think the most important is to make sure that you are sourced from there. They get connected. Yes, constant. Yeah. I liken it to this way. A person who is buying water with a jelly can mm. and the person who has bone hole. Yes. Are you there? Exactly. Who will suffer water scarcity, for scarcity? Jelly well, can is buying the jelly can. Okay. So that what Jesus was still saying in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. He says, seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So when he was telling the apostles, is your name written in heaven? They said, no. He said, go back. Stay in Jerusalem. See, the power from the on high comes. Yes. Mm. Okay. So that was that waiting period. Yes, waiting period. period. So that waiting period does not mean it might be just 10 days. Because some people take the waiting period to be that time they are fasting. Mm -mm. It's not even, their waiting period is not even fasting. Well, waiting period now has even, fasting is even okay. But the waiting period now has translated to going to theological school. Okay, in the uh, religious school. Yes. yes, or Bible school. school. Mm. Okay. Then, when the person begin to get certificate and get certificate, he got intoxicated. He doesn't know that God does not give a man certificate. Mm. What God gives you is sanctification. Wow. Sanctification and justification. He doesn't give certificate. So paper wars, don't yes. Yeah. Certificate is a physical acquisition of knowledge okay. without understanding, which helps you to speak big grammar and quote Bible from Genesis to Revelation, yet there is no <laughs> life in it. So, wow. yes. So, certificate is different from Scientific. sanctification. That is that symbol of zero and one. Yeah. God's own certificate is sanctification. sanctification. John chapter 17, verse 17. Satisfy them with your word, for your word is truth. So when God gives you certificate, mm -hmm. then you don't need, I mean, sanctification, sanctification, you don't need certificate. But people forget about the sanctification mm -hmm. and the purification and now go and get certificate. When they get certificate, they begin to struggle because it is man that gave you that. Yeah, now I begin now to further to say you can never see God in book. Hmm. Because whatever written in book is an extraction. Wow. Okay. From, nature. from nature. Okay, it's an extraction from nature. It's an extraction from nature. Hmm. Not nature itself. Yes. So when you now begin to see God from theological school, you have woefully failed. Hmm. So it is abnormal. For somebody to begin to say, okay, I went to theological school, I'm now qualified to be a pastor. Okay, that uh, leads to my next question. So how do you now know that you are qualified or that you are choosing? Like after the waiting period for a person that is ready to be patient, mm -hmm. go through all the trainings, mm -hmm. then how do you know that, yes, now it is time to move? What are the signs or what... What are the things? Yes, the, the, the sign, way you need to know, it's just like telling you now, when did you, now, where were you commissioned, when were you commissioned to speak English? Do you know? When were you commissioned to speak your mother tongue? Do you know? Not. Things of the spirit does not have to come with time and space. Okay. You, you know. At that point, you receive this utmost peace that there is no problem that comes to you, okay. just like what happens in the embassy. You cannot solve. Okay. The, the, the world says practice makes perfect, but it is not in the things of God. You must be perfected before you start practicing. Exactly. As an opposite of uh, what happens. Yes, in the, in the, in the physical world. Okay. Practice makes, makes perfect. perfect. No. Mm -mm. God does not perfect grow. Practice. Okay. God expands. Yeah. When you are in the spiritual world, you see everything at once. So there are people who are called but didn't wait to be chosen are those that are saying gradually by gradual, okay. let us continue practicing. Over time, God will come. In public, mm -hmm. you make mistakes in public, you'll be destroyed. Now, what is the danger now? That's why you see so many men of God. They will come and start with a doctrine. Mm -hmm. 
yes, and begin to preach it and begin to preach it. When realization begin to come to them now, they say, hey, yeah. please, I made a mistake. Some that are humble, like one General Obasia, who is a humble man of God, started with, we don't take anybody who is not a, a, a graduate as a pastor. We don't take any person who this television is demon and all that. Now, when he now began to preach, he was seeing God from his own human reasoning. Are you listening to me? Yes. Now, a point came. He now found out that that is not truth. So for truth to be truth, truth must be universal, common, and eternal. And if you are a man of God, when you go to spiritual world, there is no linear progression. Mm. Time and space does not exist. Mm. When you zoom into nature, mm. you can see what is going to happen in two million years in today. Mm. That's what we have hindsight, insight, and foresight. Mm. Then the insight comes as a revelation. When you dive into the nature and into the spirit, God will tell you who he is today, yesterday, and forever. So there is nothing you get from the spiritual world that need editing. Exactly. That need had I known. Exactly. It's pure. Yes. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Now, this is where the confusion is coming. Mm. So many men of God, you see some of them confessing that we didn't know that tithing, prosperity gospel is wrong. Mm. We didn't know that uh, praying in tongues uh, without a spiritual is, uh, direction is wrong. Mm. We didn't know that midnight prayer is this. Everybody now begins to realize. Why? Because they were called to become men of God, but they didn't wait to be trained and be chosen. Yeah. So there is nothing you got from the spiritual world that will not be the same to, today to, tomorrow. and tomorrow. So now you now see a man of God is preaching with vibes. Preaching with vibes. Righteousness. Holiness. Do this one. Don't wear this one. Don't do this one. At the end of the day, when the time he would have used to wait and get trained, when that realization began to come to him, uh -huh, he became so sorry. Exactly. Are you there? Yes. I begin to divert. And he must have dealt with yes. it. Then, and by then, it's now, 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 the danger there now, which I'm saying, yes. the danger there now is, what of those who didn't hear when you repent? Yes. You repented. Yes. What of those that have took, taken that your mistake, your, your preaching yes. to live a life and they are dead mm. before your realization? You see? So this is why we are saying that religion is the worst thing that can happen to humanity. Because even if you are going to make trial and error or try your luck, it shouldn't be in human destiny. Okay. You shouldn't toy with human destiny. This is the reason religion must be script off. Mm. If I be sent by God, if New Jerusalem is what is written in the book of Revelation, he said there will be no temple found there. Mm. That the lamp will be light and the thereof and the temple yes. in the book of Revelation chapter 21. Mm. So if Revelation is a reality, mm. which you know it is, an unfulfilled pro pro uh, prophecy, we are now fulfilling it. Yeah. All the churches must shut down mm -hmm. and allow. That's what I said in the book of uh, Hebrew, chapter 12. It reserve the day for the church of the firstborn mm -hmm. to make the just men perfect. So now you came and begin to trade with the destinies of people because you are called by God. But you didn't wait to be choosing. You are now using the, the destiny of people for experiments. Yeah. After that experiment, you realize. But if you have waited, you don't experiment with anything. What we started preaching the day this church was established is still this day. Because God does not grow. God is expansive. I've said it. Growth is picking one part of God and make it as a gospel. But expansion is coming in a square form. Where in any direction, when you are eating your eating is in line with the will of God. Yes. When you are speaking, your speaking is in line of, with the will of God. When you are thinking, your thinking is in line with the will of God. When you are acting, your acting is in the will of God. That is expansion. Okay. Everything around you is okay. You teach business, you teach prophecy, you teach deliverance, you teach revelation, you teach uh, anything, yes. marriage and everything. You are just balanced. Like Holistically. Holistically. That is expansion. There is no angle. Anybody will ask you, 
about God, about freedom, about peace, about deliverance, about things you say you don't know God. That means you are growing, you are not expanding. Before so you, before you go little bit lost, the way you are entering. Yeah, yeah. Most of uh, our, uh, our viewers now, mm -hmm. I want I want us to carry them along. Okay. You finished with call by call. Yeah. And why they should wait to be choosing. You know there are other calls. Yeah. Which I want them to still follow up. Okay. Right. Like, like that call. Let's okay. Talk okay. Let's let, let's call by. Let's us go with. Uh, but the next one, the next I, one. I, I actually wanted okay, to be, chip in something okay. before he continues. Okay, continue. You know, on the aspect of all churches must shut down. Yeah. I feel like somebody we we ask, what is he talking about? Are you saying that all these are what do us everything we close down? Like the the word when Jesus said, uh, destroy this temple and I will raise it in Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I really want you to throw more light. Like, what exactly? Are you saying that the whole churches in the world mm -hmm. will shut down, no church will operate again? Then what will now be? Okay, truth okay. become the church. Okay. And church should no longer be primarily in a place, okay. but in the heart of men. Okay. Are you listening to yes. me? Yes. In the heart of men. Yeah. It is a fulfillment. We are a movement, we are a fulfillment. I'm not saying it out of my own imagination. It is written in the book of Ezekiel. Mm -hmm. I'll write my law into their heart. This covenant I'm giving you, I'll write it in your heart. Then I will cause you to obey my word. Mm -hmm. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 31, he says, they will know me from the least to the greatest of them. No one will teach each other. In the book of Isaiah chapter 9, he said that the word of God will cover the earth okay. as the water covers the seas. Okay. So what shutting down does not mean we are going to go and begin to lock down churches. No. I told you people, it was not slavery. It was not government that stopped slavery. It was awareness. When people become the conscious of themselves, you come and carry chain and chain me, and you have the hand as I have hand, I will, I will, I will, I will collect the chain and chain you back. <laughs> are you there? So the closure of churches mm -hmm. is by the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Right. The explained Word of God is coming. Mm -hmm. There will be no mystery. So everybody will now know that the churches have been religious. Churches have been misleading people. Pastors have been deceiving people. Pastors have been using the name of people to do trial and error. Are you there? Do you know that if a doctor says, okay, we're experimenting on your body and you die, do you arrest a doctor? Okay, that's what they do in the pulpit. Somebody knew deep down inside of him that he's not really sure the curative nature of this thing. And he has not even gotten the science of how to heal and deliver people. Yeah. You know, but he's using it as an experiment on people. Now, when you have something like a, a HIV, mm -hmm. it tells you have faith. Yeah. Are you there? He knows that he has not found the spiritual cure of it, but he will tell you to have it. Then he continue praying for you. He can pray for 100 people, 100 of them will die. I mean, 99 of them will die. One person will be healed. Is that the work of God? No, it is work of destruction. It's a work of iniquity. Are you listening to me? Now, it is this being waiting to be chosen by God, that's what gave us this enormous power we discussed the three different types of uh, deliverance. Mm -hmm. One is spiritual deliverance. Second is attitudinal deliverance. The third is organic uh, deliverance, which was organic healing. Then, because of our relationship with God, that we are called, that's why God told us that, hey, there is something like called spiritual deliverance. Mm -hmm. You can cast out demon, but if this demon mm -hmm. it goes out, mm -hmm. don't allow that person to go. Come and change that person attitudinally. Put that person in attitudinal deliverance. Mm -hmm. Then if that person is attitudinally delivered, change the way he thinks negatively and the way he does things negatively, then when he now got delivered and there is a sickness in his body that refused to go, bring him to the nature for panabitin. <laughs> so that you put a filler, leaves, whatever, then and use it as a supplement and give to that person, then the person will become totally and perfectly healed.
But today, those people who are called but didn't wait to be chosen, what are they using? They are using only one formula of deliverance, which is uh, spiritual deliverance. After manifesting in the church, you get healed in the church, you get home, you continue with your bottle of beer, continue with your boyfriend, continue with smoking, continue with nagging, continue with anger, continue with envy, continue with jealousy. Then a man of God will be so confused. A person I delivered last year gave him money, gave him one million naira. After three years, he come back again. I find him in another church <laughs> receiving money. So this is the mystery behind being called and being chosen. This is the positive and the only one that is of God among the four types of calling. Then we now go to the call by inspiration. Okay. Are you listening to me? So back to your question now. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. We are going now to call by inspiration. So many people are being inspired with good intention. As in they see something that is happening in the churches, they don't like it or they just enjoy, they don't like it. So they want to create their own way of worshiping God. They become inspired that, okay, let us change the life of this person, these people. Mm. Are you listening to me? Yes. Burning desire. Now, when he has that burning desire, that is called by inspiration. Mm. But good intention is not a substitute for thorough knowledge. That you want to be a man of God does not mean that if you don't understand the principles, the nitty gritties of uh, spirituality, that you will not make mistakes. Mm. So called by inspiration, they are inspired. That's what I was teaching you people, that there is difference between passion and compassion. Okay. So those that are being called by inspiration go to ministry with passion. Mm. Their own self-will, yeah. they want to get it right which I was talking to my one of us someday, I told him that uh, there is nothing like freedom fighters. Mm. Are you there? Yes. Because immediately fight comes into anything, God goes away. Exactly. You will have a freedom seekers okay. instead of having a freedom fighter. fighter. So those people who have passion to serve God without this thorough knowledge, they are what? Freedom fighters. Mm. Yeah. When they go into that, they begin to cause problems. <laughs> yes. They are the people who can do this thing now. I'm saying churches will shut down. When they hear me that I say churches will shut down, bam, the next thing is that they will go to YouTube and begin to call names. Uh, Pastor, so, 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 so. Pastor, so, 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 You must this, you are a demon, you are a demon. Why are you calling names? We are not condemning people who are religious. Yes. We are condemning the system, mm. religion as a system. Mm. So a person who is a pastor and is a victim of this thing we are discussing, you don't have to crucify him. Mm. He doesn't know. Mm. Are you listening to me? So for me now to begin now to call name now, God is gone out of me. Yes. Because I'm taking it personal. Yes. I'm taking God into my heart. Instead of, okay, remove this system. Don't condemn people, but condemn their acts. Which is a system. Are you listening to me? Yes. So now by inspiration, a person who is called by inspiration is this burning desire, which people in other religion also do that. They are being inspired. Mm -hmm. And my brothers and sisters, uh, Christian religion, they are dying. Okay, let us go and fight other religion. They go with gun. Mm -hmm. They go with back to sender. Mm -hmm. They go with all manner of negativity. Mm -hmm. Then they think they are doing the way, well, the way, the, the will of God. So we say that, Passion is different from compassion. Okay. When you are going to ministration as a man of God mm -hmm. with compassion, you put yourself first in the shoe of those people whom you want to save. Okay. Imagine your brother mm -hmm. following you when you are not perfect. Will you mislead your brother? Yes, sir. That's what my father was asking them when they asked him to pay the temple tax. He said, these people, are they lording over who? Do they lord over their children? Mm -hmm. They say, no. It's okay. There is no problem. Peter, go to the river. Bring two dredger coin and give to them. Why? Those people who are spiritual leaders, 
They don't teach their children. They don't suffer their children as they suffer the, the congregation. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? So this is inspiration. But if you have compassion, you will know that God has not chosen you. You will know that God has called you, but you have not chosen you. So you wouldn't use the life of a person for experiments. Are you listening to me? You won't use another person. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. You won't use another person for experiment if you have compassion. But if you have passion, this is where you begin to cause people, begin to do this. Now, passion is a personal desire to do what you are not sent to do. Compassion is come. The C-O, C-O, passion, means cooperation. Mutuality. You bring people alike. That as you are deceiving this person, you know you are deceiving yourself. As you are doing good to this person, you know you are doing good to yourself. So before you could tell somebody that you are able to do anything, you have to sit back. Test run and try and try and try yourself and all that. Because a shepherd killed himself for the sheep. A good shepherd does not kill the sheep. But now, the men of God who are called by inspiration, they kill the sheep. <laughs> they don't kill themselves for the sheep. Let me give you a very clear illustration. As you people are laughing, you think this is a reality. A man of God don't supposed to give congregation fasting. Okay. You have to fast on behalf of that congregation, which Jesus did. He fasted. After fasting, then he now began to administer God's uh, minister give ministration to people because he has compassion for people. Don't struggle. Let me go to God. I'll get information and tell you what God said. Just do the same thing I ask you to do. You become like me. That compassion. But when you are doing with passion, calling by inspiration, mm. mom, anything can go. Anything can go. <laughs> go and fast for 30 days. Mm. You will relax. In the evening, you come and close them. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Are you there? Yes. 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 Now go and fast for 30 days. Go and fast for 3 days. After fasting for 3 days, you come back. The person is not fasting. Yes. And it is your right to have fasted on their behalf. So, so that is probably because it's either the person has seen somebody doing well in Munich and admire the person. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Feel like yeah, yeah. Because we we had an experience, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Where a, a lady okay mm -hmm. opened the ministry, mm -hmm. and uh, some of us happens to be the prayer warriors around. Okay. So when it goes to night, you understand? Yeah. The lady will be sleeping, and we tell her prayer warriors. Yes to get up and be praying. Yeah, okay. So, okay, I was not part of it. I visited yeah. a friend who was a part. Okay. So I was so surprised that the general of Asia, yeah. because she was the okay. general of okay. Okay. <laughs> she was sleeping. Mm -hmm. And the other ones who are followers were keeping her awake, yeah, yeah. praying. Okay. When she turned and there are no prayers, so what are you people doing? Get yeah. to pray, pray, pray. Okay. So that brings me to what you, you were saying. Okay. That means the person is not really having that compassion, putting herself in the shoe of those of people. Those people. Yes. You do the suffering yourself. Yes. In the morning, I come and close. I come and close. But what was her justification of sleeping? No, she felt that she is the or God, the general of us. The uh, and these ones are the servants. Okay. Have you so, seen it? Yes. So, <laughs> there are every experience continue popping up. You see this thing called religion? It's too demonic. And that's why. Now, another one of call by inspiration are people, just as I say someday, people who are bankers. Immediately they want to look that, okay, uh, 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 1,000, one, one, uh, 1, I mean, 10,000 tithes mm. multiplied by 100 people mm. will give him like 1 million dollars in a year, yeah. in a month. month. Ma'am, he will resign in the job <laughs> and come. The next thing he's saying, he starts Minister. looking. He, some of them will even go and borrow money <laughs> to set up a church because they are inspired. What is their target? Tight. They need money. They need tight. Then this is where now they give people assignment. If they have a branch pastor, they give you target. Mm -hmm. Make sure that before the end of this year, you return. Uh, you, return you have gotten uh, what one thousand people. So they are no longer interested ah. in saving the life of these people because there is no compassion. Yes. 
Their inspiration, what is inspiring them is that they need cash. Hmm. They need to be known exactly. all over the world. They want to conduct crusade. Hmm. Now, is... those crusades you are consulting, how many people did you save there? After 10 years of your crusade, hmm. how many people remain hmm. in the grace? Exactly. That is none of your business. But they are inspired. They come to a crusade, we are one million people. We have been running this church for over 10 years. This is making it 11 years. But we have never gone crusade for one place. Wow. We've never gone to preach in any place. It is still here. Are you listening to me? Now, that is what? Because we have compassion. If I should go a crusade anywhere without the laws of truth, which people are going to feed from, immediately after that crusade, three months, four months, everybody will go back to their tent. So it's an appetizer. So this is an inspiration. People derive joy because people are going with him, with entourage. Congregation filled everywhere. I say this someday. When I'm teaching, I talk to one person as if I'm talking to one billion people. Exactly. Because I know the word I'm speaking, it came from God and it is ageless and priceless. Yeah. If people that are listening now don't make use of it, in 101 million years to come, that word will still be relevant. Yes. Because the being a man of God is learning how to make timeless truth timely. You get the point? So now people are being inspired because they see how men of God are being clustered around. Okay. They are being seen how the wealthy men of God become. Then they get inspired that they want to be men of God, God without being called by God. Is that understood? Very, very called by inspiration. You can be inspired to save life in a wrong way. You can be inspired to make money in a wrong way. You can be inspired to be famous in a wrong way. And this could lead you to become a man of God. Yeah. Now, we step down <laughs> to the third form of uh, calling, <laughs> which is called by frustration. <laughs> I really need so to. Can somebody, <laughs> I really yes. need to hear this one. Because <laughs> you imagine when somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's understand <laughs> <that. Let's laughs> now, called by frustration is a situation whereby somebody does not have truth. Okay. A sensual spirit is pursuing you. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? You put your hand selling provision. They come and scatter it. Mm -hmm. You get a job, they sack you. They do this, they do, you have a problem. You do this, you have a problem. At the end of the day, you go home and start crying. And after crying for some time, you'll be like, Hi. okay, God wants me to serve him. That's why whatever I put hand <laughs> is not working. Wow. Are you listening to me? I need to go and answer the call of God. Sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, sometimes that deity that is disturbing you in the village, which you have not discovered the root because you don't have Jesus in you, that deity can even come. When you are calm, he whisper to you, would you come and serve me? <laughs> And you now say, you he, heard a voice. He heard a voice. Wow. What did he call? Let yes. Me Won't you come and serve me? You will suffer if you don't come and serve me. <laughs> <laughs> he said, God. God has called you. So that, that is called by frustration. Then when you are now called by frustration, then you go get frustrated, go there and continue frustrating mm. people. Now, that's what we are saying. There is difference between in the in truth market, in the real life, mm. in the new Jerusalem, in heaven on earth, in a place where the just men are made perfect, in the kingdom of God, there is nothing like endurance. Mm. Yes. No endurance. endurance is negative before God. Mm -hmm. What you do is tolerance. Okay. When you are enduring something, mm. you are in pain. Okay. Like some of you before you got delivered, <laughs> you know, we, you are in pain. You are preaching. Mm. You are evangelizing to people. Mm. You have a problem you have not solved yourself. Exactly. Now you are enduring, hiding it. Instead of saying, ha, guy, who has a solution? Mm. 
you continue. So we say that many people think that frowning face is anointing. Mm. The power of God, spirituality is a frowning face. Yes. So somebody will be in pain, you are sick, you endure it. But when somebody is offending you, you endure it because you are a man of God. Are you there? Not that it's not painting you, but because you have called yourself a man of God, you are enduring it. So there are people who know how to endure poverty, who endure frustration. Then these are the people, people who are not spiritual, are called men of God. Not because the person does not have a problem, but because he knows how to endure. So endurance is different from tolerance. Tolerance is in a situation where you humbly accept something. Something is going wrong, but it's not touching your spirit. Mm. Okay. Somebody is doing bad, but it's not touching your spirit. Mm. Somebody is criticizing you, but you are like, Father, forgive him. He doesn't know what he is doing. This thing is accusing me of I didn't do it. And if he continues accusing me in this way, if he dies, he's going to go to hell. Mm. And he doesn't have peace. Mm. Father, please, could you make him repent? Wow. So are you listening to me? That's forgiveness, tolerance. Hmm. You know? Wow. Yeah, but, but some men of God will mount on the pulpit. Somebody said, I am this. Somebody said, I want to respond. I want to respond. Inside of him is burning. Hmm. I don't used to talk, but now I want to respond. What are you responding to? <laughs> some, <laughs> did you do that? No, you didn't do it. If you didn't do it, be at peace with yourself. So whatever somebody takes you for, it doesn't no. matter. So this is called by frustration every you give ear to everything even people you know that is supposed to pity them and forgive them but retaliation mm. vengeance mm. back to back attack them before the attack you attack finish them before they finish you <laughs> <laughs> so that's why when somebody come into that uh, ministry that uh, call ministration by a frustration yeah. then that is how that person becomes restless. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the anger, you will invent it directly. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you do this. But people who are called by God and chosen by God, calmness is your order of the day. Yes, Any person who is criticizing you, you know you are not affected. Now, when a problem comes to you, at the same time, what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. You have to be calm towards it. And you shouldn't hide it. You make it public. Let me give you an illustration. Called by God, as we have been called by God and be chosen by God. Mm -hmm. There was a time when we built this auditorium. I came to light the, 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 the rubbish that was gathered, the grasses that was gathered. So I didn't know that you don't use fuel. fuel. And if you want to use fuel to burn uh, rubbish, then you don't go close to it. Yeah. So I used matches and on that thing, after pouring fuel, the thing came with force, pull me, pa! I fell. The whole of this, my face, got my hand. You can see this thing now. It was that, the day we laid the foundation. I won't tell you spiritually what cost it anyway, but this is it. Now, when it happened that way, my hand was peeled. Now people, I was carrying it to the church, mm. preaching with that peeled body. Mm. Now I was laughing in my heart and say, if I am called by frustration mm. or by inspiration, now what will happen? They will, you hear that pastor traveled. To go and hide them. Then you hide, see the healing come yeah. here. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Now, immediately that lie comes from your mouth. Before you come back, devil will sit Gideba <laughs> in the altar. Why? Because your heart is, your mouth is speaking what your heart is not speaking. Wow. Which after I openly come and explain to people what happened to me and I was coming with that, that things, the video will be still there. I'm preaching, you know. I feel very comfortable. My spirit was not troubled. I wasn't hiding from anybody. God have allowed it to happen, so be it. Mm -hmm. You know, that comfort. When the killing took place, God came to me through his angel and told me, I promoted you. Mm. It was an example. Yes. You know, I don't cause problems, but allow problems to happen mm. when there is a lesson to learn. 
I said it to the church when God spoke to me. I, the date is there in our messages. God said, I've promoted you. Allow this thing to happen, to know whether you are going to tell lies. Are you there? So, so this, this is, the, yes, this is the training one goes with God. Your yes must be yes. Your no must be no. Not you, mouth to, as in, in your heart. Yes. Same thing yes. Romans chapter 10, verse 10 to 11. You say, with heart, mouth confesses. And with heart, you believe it unto righteousness. And verse 11, he say, whatever. You can never be put to shame. When what your mouth is speaking and your heart is speaking at the same thing, then God will be there for you. Are you there? So if I was called by inspiration or called by this, I will travel. You say, where did he go? I will tell stories. And, oh, at worst, I will tell them that my, I, was, uh, I want to boil water and my child touch hot water and it peel my, my body. You understand? So you don't owe anybody anything when you are living good and okay. So this is called by a frustration. Then we used to ask them questions, those that say that God frustrated their business for them to become man of God. Now uh, we used to ask, you can't control Indomie as a person who is solely, solely, uh, selling a provision mm. store. Mm. Indomie, spaghetti. When you speak to them, they don't respond. You can't control them. Then it is human being yeah. that you can control. If God it called you, just like what I did, yes. okay. in the process of my own being called and being chosen, mm. I didn't go to theological school. I learned God through experience. I built up relationship with God through experience. That is the reason and why there is no aspect of life now we cannot handle. Because we didn't read it, we didn't read it from book. Okay. Are you listening to me? Yes. Okay, so now, when I was an Okada man, driving a tricycle, I mean a motorcycle, I was the best in Okada, as an Okada rider because I was saving, that was 2005, I was saving 1,500 every day here in Abuja. Then within a year, I saved 330,000 naira. That's what I used to enter into a tricycle. Are you there? Yes. When I entered into a tricycle, I was the richest tricycle owner who owned 12 pieces of tricycle, keke na pep. Mm. Nobody owned up to five keke na pep. Are you there? Mm. So I wasn't frustrated in the tricycle yeah. business. Yeah. I had 12 pieces of it. I was earning 250,000 naras at then every month. I placed by myself. Wow. Then when they want, they came to frustrate uh, that recycle, the one that we were using motor engine, Micra, yeah. Nissan Micra yeah. engine. When VIO now say, this one is over speeding, we have to ban it. I moved and started selling car in ABS motors in area 10. You get the point? Exactly. So I was progressive. Now it was into this car business, 2011, that I received a call that they want me to. So I was doing well. I had my first car, I bought a house and I was living large when they called me. So that is the reason, when they called me, they say, you see all these things that has to do with money, you have to give out all these things. That was when we began now to visit schools, to share so many things I had as a person. I didn't use one naira, one naira, to start a church. That's why we started from plywood. There was money to build a house, but God said you must start from nobody, wow. from nothing. Then we built a plywood, 2012, 2013, and continued. I sold my car, nothing followed me. Are you there? So now, it is not called by frustration. It called by call because I was doing well, I doing well. where I was. So... Before now, God said, okay, stop this and come and join me. Okay. Stop touching money and come and join me. Okay. So okay. we now said, if you cannot control provisions, material things, yeah. how do you think you can control people? Uh -huh. Who are the most, human being are the most uh, difficult, difficult variable to yes, handle. Variable to handle. Yes, but in, in Indomie, which is a constant, <laughs> tomato, which is a constant, are you there? Yeah. You can't calculate them and become successful and progressive. It is in human being that you come and test your madness. Ah, yeah. 
I, I, it's this a, is, this a, is, in fact, a, it's, it's an eye opener. Yes. Very, very good. Okay. I've heard, yeah. uh, you know what he's saying? Mm -hmm. I heard many people. This is exactly because you have solved this problem. Yes. Okay. You have opened yes. people's eyes. Okay. Because yes. many have encountered before yes. now, they will yes. tell you, uh, uh, God said I should uh, come and uh, serve him. This and that, that is why I want to leave social business. This and that, you know, mm. I'm not progressing mm. here, mm. not doing this here, so yeah. I want to come and No, 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 that, 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 that's, that's, that's deception. If you come with that frustration, you frustrate other people. Okay, but is okay. it possible that God called a man mm -hmm. and the person is running away and then his business? Because I've seen like one or two persons, a yeah. man that almost died. Yeah. He said God is calling him, mm -hmm. but he doesn't want to answer the call. Yeah. And his business started going down. Mm -hmm. Before you know it, his health. Mm -hmm. Even some at the point of death mm -hmm. before they now say yes. Okay. Or some even die. Okay. So is there anything like that? Yeah. There could be something like that. God mm. cannot kill you. To yes, if somebody eventually dies, then it is the deity in your village that is coming in the name of God mm. to ask you okay. to come and worship him. Mm. Now, the frustration can come when you hear that God called you here, yes. not by frustration. Okay. You heard. Okay, not that you, you are not doing well, you are not as you. Yes, okay. you are doing well, well and you heard. Okay. Now, even if you heard, you don't just have to accept it that way. You there? You have to watch. You have to watch and wait. To be sure. Then, in that your area of your calling, you put your leg here. Mm. You put your leg here. Okay. Are you listening to me? Mm. You'll be doing that business, and at the same time doing the work of God. Okay. Two of them has to be going. When I was driving Okada, 2015, I have four people. I put on that scholarship as an Okada man. <laughs> Yahaya, Ibrahim, Usman, and uh, one person. Four of them as an Okada. In fact, before I was even called, they have started calling me pastor here in Karamajit. Because your actions and your lifestyle. You get what I'm trying to say. So the most important thing is not coming to take microphone. Microphone. Amount pulpit. Amount pulpit. Okay. Start mounting pulpit. David was picked in the bush. Wow. A man after my own heart. Mm -hmm. So what God is interested in is in your intention. So now somebody now being frustrated. God, when your business is running, do you have peace? That's another thing you have to know. Whether it is God that is calling you or you are called by frustration. Mm -hmm. So when you begin to disobey, then your physical things begin to fade, but it won't touch your spirit. Even you yourself will know that. Are you there? That yes. To yes. That cal calmness will be there. You know? But let me take for instance, when God graduated me, God will, will graduate you because touching money is not anointing. We say that prosperity is not spirituality, mm. but spirituality is prosperity inclusive. Okay. Yeah. You get the point? Yeah. That you lost your cars and lost this thing does not mean God is punishing you. God does not punish any person. Mm. If you lost your car and all that things and your peace is still there and you are still focused in what you are doing, now God might be telling you, graduate from this rubbish. I wouldn't know how I would have been frustrated if I'm not a man of God. Why? Because the money is what I wanted to make. Mm. I will still be counting money and giving people money and they will still be eating it. Money cannot solve any problem. Mm. Are you listening to me? Yes. So at that point, you are having hinges in your business. Does it affect your spirit? Are you existing as a frustrated person? Mm. Now, that is when you know. Okay, let me tell you. Everything you are doing is God. Is it not God that created Indomi, people that created Indomi? Mm -hmm. As a provision dealer, as a pharmacist. God is in there, God is in there. As God is there, God is in pulpit. Mm -hmm. So you must find God in everything you are doing. And you must find peace in everything you are doing. So that you are losing your material things without complaint does not mean that you are being punished. God is just trying to tell you to graduate. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an illustration. You know, the, when I was driving Okada, mm -hmm. October 1st, 2006, that's when they pursue Okada in central area in Abuja. Okay. Then a month before that, God came to me because he sent me into that process. Mm -hmm. My driving Okada was out of vision. 
I saw it in a vision to go and drive Okada, which ordinary person would have rejected, which I did anyway. Because when I was first, I didn't know that that was my first uh, financial theological school. When I graduated, a BSc holder in economics in Enugu State University of Science and Technology. Three months before my graduation, I prayed and fast for three days. And God gave me a vision and showed me a real one roundabout. Uh, we were going to drive a after graduation. I said, maybe this one is uh, <laughs> a stifled uh, vision. Yeah, so, <laughs> as, as a graduate. Yeah, as a graduate, which one? The one? This one is not God. I suspected it was a deity in this time around. So I fasted again. I saw it. I fasted again, then this roundabout area, one roundabout, before you go to that flyover, up, pop up. Now, that's when I begin to tell my inmate, Romanus, that guy, God said, I want to be a, a kind of man, a cyclist, when after graduation. Romanus laughed. Laugh, definitely. Laughed. I will laugh. Yes. He called me the soul. <laughs> you, I believe every of your words, but this is a lie. What do you mean? Because I was the best brain. Now, God knowing how he used to do. He had money. I didn't have money. He now said, I want to prove you wrong. Mm. You see, it's Okada. I say, yes. I say, please. By then, they are selling Honda. Uh, 60,000 naira. Mm. You know? He said, okay, if I say I'm going to Abuja, please pay money into, by then, pay money into my brother's account. If you pay it into my, my brother's account, we will draw it, I will buy a machine. I will be giving you 300 naira every day. Mm. He quickly said, go, to prove me wrong. Mm. He paid it into my brother's account. I went to Marabanya yeah, with my brother, and they bought a Honda machine and drove it here. Are you there? Now, I started driving. Riding Okada. I started riding Okada. Within three months, I bought my own. Now, a month before they pursue Okada in Abuja, God spoke to me in Finance Junction. I was driving from Area 1 to Bega. A voice came to me, leave this Okada business, join Tresaiko. Are you listening to me? Now, I left it. I stopped a one man, Ayao, and began to interview him about Kekena Pep. He gave me how to do it, and I moved on. Are you listening to me? So God was in Okada. God was in Tresaiko. Because of that humility, God now began to walk to me. So he told me, now leave this thing, enter Tresaiko. One month, I left Okada, the Porsche Okada in Abuja. If you look deep into history, you see October 1st, 2006. They stopped off at Okada. And you have left the Okada one month. <laughs> one month, yes. And now enter into a cycle. So God was you see? with you. God was with me. Now, yes, when I now got that, I had one Kekena Pep. Within six months, within eight months, I have six pieces of Kekena Pep. Within a year and eight months, I had a dozen of Kekena Pep. The name of my company was Arazo, Aranazoma. Powerful. Mm. <laughs> Powerful. So I became known in that area. So I was doing good. Now, when they came again with this attack, then I moved on peacefully. Mm. My spirit was not affected. Yeah. I wasn't complained. Yes. I wasn't complaining. I was not frustrated. So mark that word I say, call by frustration. So your spirit will be very calm. Yes. Nobody will see you and say that, okay, this guy is suffering. So, so I think that is very de yeah. distinctive. That distinctive factor called by frustration. Your spirit will not be touched. But men have insulted God. <laughs> like you see somebody with shoe, I swear. Yeah. Tata, yeah. By yeah. The God. Have you seen it? So now that is called by frustration. I then they now say practice makes perfect. One day, one day God will locate you. Why didn't God locate you before you start coming? In fact, so that part, part, part peace of mind, the, yeah. Is the striking thing there. Yeah. There is something I understood from what the servant is saying. Mm. Because all these processes you pass through, yeah. your lifestyle yes. was still indicating to yeah. this person is gearing towards yes. serving God. Yeah. Serving, if you watch from the beginning mm -hmm. of your life, you started already training people. Yeah, 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 yeah. From there you mm -hmm. entered, you even took up a name, Aranas, meaning 
the breasts that feed the nation. Yeah, the nation. Are, you, are you there? Your lifestyle yeah. is already attached. If you see how you are living your life, it is decating, pointing towards yeah. that. Go to a refuge center. Refuge, uh, this refuge center, I think it was opened by a church called, I think it is Winners, okay. in uh, Maitama, by Zenith Bank, uh, uh, Transcorp Hilton. Okay. Okay. At that, go there. My, my file, even the receipts, I used to pay for the motherless baby gift every month is there still in my office. You get the point? Now, I would go to Central Mosque here in Area 1. All of them know me. I pack um, kekena pep full of uh, bread, bags of rice. I go there. I share the people there in a, in a, as a tricyclist. I was enjoying my life. I was doing things of war, God. So that was a, a ministry for me. Already. You understand? That was a ministry. I wasn't complaining. I wasn't wishing to be like this thing now. They saying you are a servant of God. You are a man of God. I never for one day wished to be that. You know? So it's natural that a person, like when I was called, you know, when I was called, God came to me and said, become a man of God. I said, okay, no problem. He said, I will become a man of God. But then I was driving Honda Civic, 1999 model. Now I said, okay, there is no problem if you want me to become a man of God. But you see this car, I'm not going to sell it. But I will use it to help you now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's human will. I will use it to help you so that what I'm going to do on Sunday, I will fill the tank. I will carry people free. In the city, where are you going to? I drive you there. I will be there preaching. After preaching, I drop you. You say money. I say no problem. Okay. The word of God has done it. Okay. Do leave the word. God came to me and said, "You say this cow. <laughs> I don't didn't call you to become a mobile evangelist." Then I refused the points. He said, "Sell it." I had to sell the car. I saw the car. Now, my laptop, you know, as a graduate, as an educated person, I always in internet, you know, something like that. Then it came again, you know, this thing now is giving you distraction. Sell this laptop. I bought my laptop 125,000 Naira then. I sold it 40,000 Naira in Otako to one guy called Dakota. You know, now I had to sell it. God said, okay, now you are good to go. Go to the field work. Hmm. That night I cried. Mm. I said, ah, God, how could you rubbish me? Now I had to go and buy this uh, megaphone. <laughs> hmm. I used it. Now, one night, two nights, or three nights, by four o'clock, town cry. Then he say, still, it's still not this thing I want you to do. Then before, and now in my corridor, the church started. Hmm. Are you there? So I say this someday, I've never for one day since I was born, suffered. I've never suffered because I was calm, determined, focused, concentrated. I took them as a challenge and every challenge is a process. That is the reason why today I have the picture of the time I was driving Okada. I have the picture of when I was driving Kekenapeb. I have the picture of when I was sailing cars. All the picture because I know I was passing by. Till God eventually now say, okay, now this is not issue of Kekana Pep, it's not into transport. Mm. Now come to the pulpit. You understand? So call by frustration. Frustration. Now we want to go into the, is your question by, answered? Yes. So a person now who is put hand here in knock, mm. check your state of mind. Are you peaceful? Okay. If you're peaceful at that, it is God speaking to you. If you are complaining and murmuring and telling anybody, everybody that comes around you, I don't know, God called me, God called me. If God called you, why would you look for witnesses outside? Like so many people say, hey, I was with God yeah, for, for 10 days. I stay with God. Okay, after staying with God 10 days, you stay with devil. You continue staying with devil now. You know? So everything about you, 247, must be peaceful. Okay. Peaceful. That's when you know you have a comma. So when God now promotes you to the, you are still stepping into there with the same peace and with the same state of mind. Because it's even this peace now, if you, you know, just like as uh, 
yeah. sister Susie said. Yeah. You look somebody looking you see somebody looking so haggard, yeah, yeah. carrying Bible. Yeah, yeah. You know that the person doesn't have peace. Once, yeah. Even though he or she is pretending. Yeah. But if you look at someone who is peaceful, yes. yeah. Going into the administration, they will always look calm and okay. Exactly. Are you there? Exactly. Because the power comes from the in, inwardly. And it regenerates. It generates it internally, you know. So this is it. Too thick and thin. Mm. You don't send. Okay. You continue. So before you go to the last type of uh, call. call, call, okay. You you made mention of before you mounted pulpit, yes. you were already doing the ministry. Yes. So are you trying to say that is there any separation or between the, the pulpit and ministry? Like, can someone what is actually ministry? Okay. In essence. All right. Thank you very much. This is an interesting question to ask. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Ministry, the word ministry is gotten from the word mystery. Okay. okay. Are you there? Mystery. So a minister of God must have a mystery to reveal okay. before you can call yourself a minister. Okay. Then if you don't have any mystery, mm. you are revealing. Mm then you are a, a, a charlatan and a talkative. You get what I'm trying to say? Yes. Now, this ministry, the, the, we started as a ministry, mm -hmm. now we are a church. Okay. There was a, a ministry, God said, okay, come and reveal mysteries of how you arrive where you are, mm -hmm. of the relationship I have had with you, and all that. Okay. Then, all you have been preaching mm -hmm. have never been, you have never been heard anywhere. We have never preached what people have preached because you use the known to conquer the unknown. Okay. Then if you are faithful over a little things, more will be revealed unto you. Are you listening to me? Yes. Now, more thing was now given to us to the capacity of a church mm. because of our faithfulness in our ministry. Okay. When I was in Tricycle, mm. what made me to become successful? Because I was revealing the mysteries. Okay. I had the principles of how to become a successful businessman. So I was already a minister. Not necessarily because they are standing on mm -mm, the That makes you a minister. No, by then I was a minister of transport in Kekanapep. Okay. Because I was revealing mystery, mm -hmm. which today I can teach, I used to teach here, how to become a millionaire okay. in a twinkle of an eye, within a space of one year. As easy as. It is through that ministry of uh, transportation and my encounter with God mm -hmm. that we came to say a Christian cannot be a poor man and a poor man cannot be a Christian. Are you listening to me? But people who didn't pass through that ministry, of finances. You get the point? Yes. They will never believe the thought that pray, money comes from praying and fasting mm. and sowing seed. Yes. Is that okay? Yes. All right. So we are now revealing mystery that a Christian cannot be a poor man okay. because we are coming from the ministry of finance. Mm. Now, there is nothing somebody now can use money to influence me from speaking the truth. Why? Because I was coming from the ministry of this. Okay. So it is time people should know and what I say, churches are going. Mm. People should know we have to decentralize this pulpit. Mm -hmm. Another bomb. So. Are, you, are you listening to me? Yeah. Yes, we have to decentralize this pulpit so that we practice what we call confederation. Mm -hmm. If you are running a church, mm -hmm. a church is a conglomeration okay. of different ministers. Okay. And the person who is staying with the wife peacefully. Mm -hmm is a minister of family administrator. Mm. <laughs> Are you <laughs> listening to me? Yeah. Now, but God has been degenerated to the extent that a pastor can divorce his wife and he's still running a ministry. Mm. So a successful businessman, is pastor is not greater than him. Talk to me. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Because what? He is saving money and saving life at the same time. Mm. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Yes. He's saving money and saving life at the same time and using the money to save life. So you are not more important than him. A person who is giving you, like me now, I will say I'm, 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 I'm a great man of God. Then a businessman that is paying tight to you, who is he? A great man of devil. No, no. <laughs> no we have to know. Let us know. What an understanding. Are you listening to yes. me? Yes. Now, an usher, a chorister, now, can somebody be coming to your church and is not in good terms with his wife? You have to go and make him a minister of uh, welfare. <laughs> I go marital, whatever <laughs> thing. So, when churches 
understand this. You must be a minister in anything you are doing, you are revealing mystery. Mm. A mechanic who have discovered how to do a car in a different way mm -hmm. other than how it has been done mm. is a minister of automobile. Mm. The mystery is trying to because he's revealing a mystery. mystery. And when people are under him, followers are following him and he's continuing explaining them, he is a minister in that area. Are you listening to me? Yes. A minister is not in the pulpit. Mm. So we want to scatter the pulpit. Everybody has to go. If you are here mm. as a ministry, don't use this Bible and continue reciting it and telling me what happened in uh, mm. 2,000 years ago. Uh, <laughs> Solomon, uh, David, uh, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. There are still people bearing Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego <laughs> in your church. Empower them. Reveal mystery to them. Mm. Let them discover themselves mm. and begin to act in the same way. You know, the embassy of the New Jerusalem is different from any church because we are church of the firstborn. Mm. We don't tell you about David mm. or what happened 2,000 years ago. We make it as a point of reference. Mm. We now make you to become, to the, become David. the David. That's right. To become Shadrach, Meshach, Abadnik. We don't talk about people. We talk about yourself. That's right. As you are listening to our messages, it's talking about you. Mm. So this is a minister is a person who reveals mysteries of the kingdom. Now, it is as a minister of gospel, mm. of truth. That's how the laws of truth came. Wow. We are revealing mystery. Our teaching, you can never Google it in any internet. Hmm. You listen to hmm. me. You can't read it anywhere. It has never been heard of. That it is a minister. So a minister is a movement. A minister is a fulfillment. A minister pick a Bible and act on it. The word of God and act on it to bring it to fulfillment and spread it all the congregation. A minister does not continue reciting, recycling, recycling. You must have a mystery to reveal. If it is what Paul wrote that makes you a minister, you are a charlatan. It's what Matthew wrote that makes you a minister, you are a charlatan. Because Jesus said, I'll bring a counselor, I'll bring a helper, I'll bring someone who will reveal to you those things I taught you. In the book of John chapter 14, verse 16 and verse 26. Those things you have forgotten. A comforter is coming. In John chapter 16, verse 13, he said, how bad? When the spirit of truth comes, it will lead you to all truths. So you don't need only Bible to become a man of God. You have to bring a fresh thing from the spiritual world and bring it into the physical so world. this recycling, they are yes. the church year to year, it's repeating the same thing. It's, uh, it's uh, not normal. It's frustration. Yeah, it makes people get tired of church. Mm. Yeah. They go and at the end they say, I don't even know where to go. Again. Yes. Mm. So people give up because there is no mystery to reveal. The only thing you can hear in the church before we come now is that Maybe the language, the grammar, the other pastor is speaking, yes. consigning, explaining a particular verse yes. is different from the other. Yes, but they are not changing anything. <laughs> there is no improvement. So a mystery, a minister should reveal mystery. a mystery. In the time past, we are using um, Nokia 3310. Now we are using what? Android. Android. In the time past, I remember when we were using color television, black and white, mm. black and white television. Mm. Now we are using what? Color television. Color television. Now this is what the a minister of technology discovered mm. the mystery yes. in phone. A minister of communication discovered a mystery, mm. and he now become a minister. So if that person acknowledges God. He's a miracle worker. Not a gay. He doesn't smoke. He doesn't drink. He doesn't humanize. He doesn't tell lies. Mm. He didn't manufacture it to cheat people. Are you listening to me or to destroy life? He's a man of God. That's right. Because he brought something, something to help to life. Exactly. So man of God is not a person who knows how to collect tithe well, and who offering. Who stands on the pulpit. Yeah, who stands on the pulpit or who has microphone. That's the person right. who manufactured that microphone, if he's not a gay, mm. if he's not a smoker, if he's not a killer, so long as he's serving life, yeah. he's a minister, he's a man of God, 
and so shall it be. Wow. You are finally, oh, wow. you are finally <laughs> decentralized. You are new. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> so you have killed it. Are you listening to me? Oh. About to save and serve life in the standard of God. Yes. He's a minister. He's a minister. He's a, minister. He's a man of God. Right. So man of God is not in the pulpit. I hope you people are watching us. Who, 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 what are they reading? I mean, it's reading about Bible. People are dying in poverty. Ancestral spirit is tormenting people. You are just quoting, quoting nonsense and rubbish. <laughs> who will reveal to us how to conquer ancestral spirit? Without going into rigorous uh, bag of salt and uh, and uh, and uh, anointing uh, or cuisine oil. I don't want to go into that. Are you there? Uh, Who would discover that? Mm. Just as we have discovered mm. in the truth market, how to do family deliverance. Mm. That is a mystery. We have revealed to humanity today. Now, no, no. Which of you now is praying against the foundation anymore? You have covered the foundation exactly. and used Jesus to lay DPC. Yeah. And start building your block. <laughs> there is no way the servant doesn't. I don't know. Oh, yeah. it's, it's amazing. amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. You know, <laughs> <it's Honestly. laughs> in, the, the wisdom, the knowledge is in us. Are you listening to me? Yeah. So, this is it. There, I think we have discussed three yeah. types of calling. So, is remaining one. The last one. Uh, uh, the, yes. Call by yes, thank you very much. Call by inheritance. Mm. A call by inheritance are so many people whose parents dead and longed for God. Okay. Now, over time, mm. when the parents have died, mm. then God is looking for where, how to compensate or to pay back mm. to that family, mm. to that man who laid foundation of such for Christianity or for a good life, or service to humanity, you can pick a son from that lineage, from that lineage and begin to guide that person so that that seed planted by the father mm. will continue growing. That is called by inheritance. Now, called by inheritance is just like called by God. Okay. It's a positive word anyway. Mm. Just like called by God. Okay. But being called by God I'm called by inheritance. And you still have to respect yourself mm. and be calm and be patient. Don't just run. Because this one called by inheritance is even more tempting. Yes. Because the power, you don't want to use the power. You don't know where the power is coming. Or well, you continue pushing. Mm. Continue pushing. Inspiration is just coming from anywhere, yeah. everywhere. So if you don't wait to be seasoned okay. over time, yeah. it will blow you off. Because many of those that are called by inheritance, they don't have experience. Yeah. Mm. It just pop up. Yes, it just pop up. So oftentimes, the spirit controlling them is always higher than them. And because of the world standard, mm. they move faster than God always. So that's why they begin well. Okay. Begin well. Yeah. Begin well. Okay. Effortlessly. Before you know, they have lost control. I know so many people who their father, maybe their father was the first person who allowed Christianity into a community yes. or build a church for a community. Maybe your great grandfather. Mm. Okay. Are you there? Yeah. Was a good man who accepted Christianity, you know. Then when he has died, in the book of uh, Hebrew, mm. chapter 11, he said many people longed to see that day. They couldn't see it. Mm. You understand? Yes. They couldn't see. see it, but it continued from generation to generation. So this is called by inheritance. But that, this one is very, very delicate because that power is popping, pumping, pumping. Then when the anointing begins to come, begin to prophesy, to heal people, to heal people, before you know, in the middle of the, mm. the end, because there is no experience, the light will cut. Okay, that's why you see a child from childhood begin to manifest. Begin to manifest. So, so that is called yeah. by inheritance. Yeah, but called by inheritance. No, when you trace the lineage, mm. you see that there has been a foundation. That's like, okay, your grandfather was a pastor, your great grandfather was a pastor, your this one was a pastor, then your direct father was a pastor. pastor. A child can come there. Okay. And before you know, he be receive anointing. But okay. all of them crashed. Mm. All of them, mm. as much as I've known. 
Before you know, they begin to talk rubbish. Because of inexperience. Because they don't have experience. Because experience is God. God. So that things is working for you does not mean that you have arrived. Hmm. Powerful. This is, you know now, as <laughs> it's so amazing. And, um, and I know our viewers will never regret being no, part no, of no, this no. wonderful show no, in the no. truth market. Honestly. Because it has made, now our eyes are open. We can know who is who and what must have caused this yeah. or that. You know, people have, I don't want to use this word, uh, religious jumpology. Yeah. Or church jumpologies. Mm -hmm. They jump from one church to the other. I think this is the reason why people are trying to know if they can get those that are called by God. Yeah, yeah. Called by God. Yeah. Because others began well and they could not wait for God to actually choose them. Yeah. So when you come into that type of church, you at the end of the day you cease to get what yeah. you expected, expected. To, yeah, so yeah. you know that we want to go there yeah, and go there yeah, and go there yeah, yeah. so what we are telling the people there is that at it is clear now mm. ask god to direct you to those that are called by mm. god yes and and even to, an to those ones get, yes. to those ones that are that were actually called by god and maybe Due to you couldn't wait to be seasoned and all of that, the time has come, I guess, yeah, yeah. For, for you to get back to your roots, repent, find your way through. And that is the essence of the truth market. God has raised this generation, this generation of God that has come to emancipate the world with truth. This is the essence why you should follow us on our YouTube channel, why you should visit our page, because it will open your eyes. The wisdom, the knowledge of God there is inexhaustible. It is not man-made, it's something that God himself, according to prophecy, have decided to do what? To commission. And yes. it is springing up, it's springing up, and a time will come, it will cover the world with the knowledge of the truth. The, the truth we're talking about is, is found in the laws of truth. This, this book of mystery, I call it Book of Mystery because when you go through it, it has a lot of mysteries to reveal. The man of God, the servant, is not speaking out of head knowledge. He's speaking as a man that has been seasoned, that has spent time with God, that has been taught by nature. And this book was birthed as a result of that experience. So you can imagine the mysteries here. You can imagine the experience. It's a book that when you are biting, it's biting you. Every single page you open has something to do to your life. So please don't neglect it. I encourage you, compassionately, not out of passion, but knowing fully well what it can do to you. Grab a copy. Give it to your loved ones. Keep one for your family. It has a lot to do. Are you a man of God? Please don't be shy. Don't be proud to say no. Find your roots. Get the laws of truth. Trace back your roots. You can still do well. You can still correct the foundation. Thank you very much, I remain Divine Susie. And also, we'll be bringing your way other versions some other time. And I know you are enjoying yourself. No be small. Thank you. See you next time.